guys and welcome to Strong Bean TV, even though I'm not strong and I'm not a bean. So today guys I'm back with something a little bit different. Today I'm gonna showcase in my top five most anticipated games that I'm waiting for and there's a few games that I can't wait to come out and I wanna share them with you so and maybe know your opinion what you are waiting for. So after this video be sure to let me know down in the comments. So let's just get straight into number five. Let's go. I'm in so yeah guys, coming in at spot number 5, we got FIFA 20. Uh, FIFA 20, I've been a fan of FIFA for a lot of years, since my childhood, back in the days. I guess when I was like 6 or 7 years old, I used to play uh, FIFA 2001 on my dad's PC. And as of FIFA 13, I started playing Ultimate Team, which is, for me, the best mode in the game. And since then I've been hooked on FIFA, I buy it every year, I spend a lot of money on it every year, trying to get the best players on Ultimate Team. And I'm not so good at the game, but I love the game, I love, I love squad building, I love the SPCs that we have right now, the foot draft, opening packs. And yeah, this year won't be any different for me. I'm waiting for it, it's coming out on the 27th of September, if I remember correctly. And this time it's something very special. We've got a new game mode which is called FIFA Volta. FIFA Volta is so to speak a FIFA Street coming back to FIFA. Some of you may remember FIFA Street from back in the day. So like that freestyle five a side football game made by EA Sports. And now it's finally coming back to FIFA. It's a game mode that the people have been asking for for a long time now and they announced it a few weeks ago it's called FIFA Volta uh, Volta is Portuguese for coming back I wait for it of course there will be a lot of changes to the other modes like I heard there will be changed to career mode to pro clubs and of course ultimate team I can't wait to see the, uh, the card design on uh, the ultimate team cards a pack opening how the animation is and yeah, that's my number 5, FIFA 20, 27th of September of 2019. So coming in at number 4 guys, it's... It's gonna show you, baby. Watch Dogs Legion. Watch Dogs Legion which was announced at E3. And it's the next installment in the series of Watch Dogs, the hacking game. I played both first one and second one, I love them both and I can't wait for Watch Dogs Legion which is coming out on the um, on the 6th of March of 2020 and this time it's gonna be sent in uh, London in the UK which is pretty exciting and if I heard correctly this time you don't have just one protagonist you have like hundreds of them like you switch from character to character and there's like a huge movements, like that's you're living like in a suppressed London, like suppressed by the government, if I understood correctly. And I've seen the trailer, I've seen some gameplay. The game looks amazing, I can't wait for it to come out. It's still a bit far away, but I can't wait. It's gonna be awesome. So yeah. I'm in Coming in at number three guys is Marvel's Avengers game was finally announced. I think it was like three years ago. There was like a, this little teaser by Square Enix that they were working on an Avengers title. And this year at E3, they finally showed it to the to the world. The first trailer of Marvel's Avengers. The game looks amazing, and I always wanted a like Avengers game, like a good Avengers game. And we are finally getting it, guys. I, I can't believe it. The graphics are awesome. Gameplay looks good. And I can't wait for it. It comes out on the 15th of May of 2020. So that's even further away than Watch Dogs Legion. But I think the wait will be worth it. It's Avengers in a video game. Good graphics. And it just looks awesome. Can't wait for it. And yeah. Diamond Ripley. <laughs> I wanna be the very best. Yes guys, coming at number two is of course Pokemon Sword and Shield. This 
two games are coming out for the Switch uh, in November of this year. I can't wait, it's a new generation of Pokemon, so that means Pokemon we have never seen before, a new region, I think it's called the Galar region, I think it's that, but I've seen that gameplay and trailers and stuff and game works amazing, got the like a new like fighting system where the Pokemon become huge, it's called Dynamax. And I can't wait to see that like really in action, like my hands playing it. And yeah, so the Shield Legendary both look legendary look amazing. Here's a picture of them. But yeah, I can't wait for Pokemon Sword and Shield. November. Come on, I'm waiting for you. And and last but not least guys, coming in at the spot of number one is Cyberpunk 2077. <laughs> the game is coming out in on the 16th of April of 2020 and it was just announced at E3, the release date, and we had a huge surprising, a breathtaking surprise. Keanu Reeves, Mr. John Wick himself, is in the game. They had like this little trailer at E3 and like at the end of the trailer like it was like your character like on the ground and someone was there to help him pick him up and when the camera zoomed out it was Mr. Keanu Reeves, Mr. John Wick himself he's in the game, he also came out on stage at E3 everyone went wonkers and it was breathtaking if you saw E3, you know what I'm, why I'm saying breathtaking. But yeah, I can't wait for Cyberpunk. The game looks beautiful. Amazing open world. I uh, can't wait to try it out. And yeah. So yeah, guys, that's it for my top 5 most awaited, anticipated, whatever you call it, games. And I can't wait for these games to come out and try them. Maybe share some gameplay with you when, uh, when they're finally here. And yeah, so thanks for watching guys, like always, leave a like, subscribe, all the good stuff, and see you next time, bye!